Adobe just released a new beta for a program that they're working on called Adobe Firefly. I'm gonna show you how to join the waitlist, and then once you're in, we'll walk through creating an image as a test. To get started, head to the firefly.adobe.com homepage, where you can see an overview of what Firefly is all about. When you're ready, tap Request Access up in the top right, take a look at the terms and the overview of the beta, and then select Apply Now. I noticed that Adobe changed this screen a little bit, so instead of a pop-up window that you're seeing like this, you may get a completely different sign-up page. Once you're ready and you put all your info in, hit Apply. You'll then be put into the Adobe Firefly beta waitlist. They've been swamped all day, so there has been a few issues in this part, but if you head to adobeprerelease.com slash beta, you should see Firefly down here in the bottom showing awaiting approval. At this point, you just have to wait until you're actually accepted into the beta program. Mine took about half a day, so later on at night, I was able to go to firefly.adobe.com, and then I saw that I was accepted into it. Now that we have access to the Firefly beta, let's go ahead and play around with the text-to-image AI generator. Under text-to-image, select generate. You can go ahead then and read through the different overview pages before you get into the actual Firefly pages. This will just go over stuff of where they're pulling the data from, the user guidelines, and the limitations that currently apply to Firefly. After you're done reading everything, hit done, and then you'll be taken to the text to image page. Down in the bottom search bar, enter in a description of an image that you want to create. For instance, here I said sunset over snow peaked mountains. Hit generate, and Adobe Firefly will randomly create four different images for you. At this point, you can then go through the right-hand side menu and play around with the different settings and the styles that you can choose from. For instance, you can change the aspect ratio, the different type of image, like a photo or a piece of art or graphic. There's a ton of different styles that you can choose from if you want digital art or steampunk or watercolors. After that, at the bottom, you can even dial in some more options like the colors and tones that you wanna use. Say if you want the image to be warmer, you can choose different lightings like golden hour, and then you can choose different composition settings if you want to do that too. Once you make a few of these different tweaks, hit generate at the bottom, and Adobe Firefly will take everything that you just put in and generate four new images. You can then just keep refreshing, maybe take away some of the tags that you just put in or add different ones, and refresh until you like at least one of them. Now let's say this first one here is the one that we really like. First, you can give it a thumbs up, letting Adobe know that, hey, I like this one, or you can give it a thumbs down if you don't want any more like that. If you want to generate the three others to look similar to the one that you have that you like, you can tap the show similar button up on the top left of the image. That'll then generate three other ones that are closer to the one that you like. After that, on the three dot menu, you have a few other options like submitting it to a gallery, using it as references, or just copying the image. And finally, the last icon is the download option. Before you download the image, it's going to let you know that it's going to put a tag showing and letting everyone know that this image was created using AI. This is what they're calling transparency in AI. Click continue and then choose where you want to save your image on your computer. After you download the image, you can then open it, take a look at it, and then do whatever you need to do with it after that. At this point, you could take it into Photoshop and play with it some more, or you could share it to your social media apps. And that's a brief overview on how to get into the Adobe Firefly beta and then how to use it to make some images based off of text prompts.